Hello everybody and welcome back to Undermine the Whip update. We are going in once again to try out today's whip. Let's have a little look at what we've got going on for us here. So we have floors no longer have relic rooms. That sounds rather tricky. And all healing is reduced to one. Oh boy, this sounds unpleasant. Um, okay, so this is going to be a really, really hard whip today. Uh, this is one where we're going to be dropping keys. We're going to be using health to use keys. This is going to just all around be very difficult. I don't expect to do too well on this one. But we do at least start with a keyblade, which gives us plus 44 damage right off the bat. But this is a very, very tough one. We also got some balance as well if you want to do some throwing. Um, we got a curse chest off the bat. I honestly think that we probably want to try and avoid some curses here, though. Like, obviously getting curses to score is good, but this is definitely the sort of whip where you want to be trying to, uh, trying to survive more than, uh, more than trying to get yourself loads of high scores. I think getting further will be better. And with healing reduced to one, that essentially means that any damage we take is going to be very, very difficult to recuperate. So we are very much going to try and keep ourselves alive here, but it could be rather difficult. Uh... Good. Good, good. Okay, let's go. I'll uh, check the Skelly Bob as well. But yeah, this is a, this is one that I've got to say is um, is very very risky. There's a, there's a lot in this one that could go very very wrong very very quickly, um, and we shall hope that it doesn't. I think it's worth this even for the 50 HP it costs. Got to remember, every bit of healing that we buy is only ever going to heal us for one. Sequence breaker does make things a bit better. But yeah, like, that, that is such low healing, and there's no way to improve on that amount of healing either. Absolutely no way. Okay, good. Oh my god, we got ourselves a increased HP potion. My god. I might try and look for the secret room here. I feel like this is just, like, bound to be the secret room. Ow, I got hit there. Nope, neither of those were. That's surprise. I don't know why I thought... I, like, it's not even super likely that that would be the case, but I, I just felt like it could be, maybe. Oh, my God. So much going on right now. Oh, my God. We've lost a lot of health already, I've got to admit. A lot of health already. Okay, this is definitely worth. Oh, why did I jump into that? Fuck me. This is horrible. Um, we do have two bombs remaining. And I very much should bomb into the secret room if we can. I should have used um, our big boy here to destroy some of these rocks, but hey her. Let's use him to destroy some of these. I think he's going to die, to be honest. Yeah, sadly he is. Sadly he is. Hmm, okay, another bomb is nice. Secret room. I really want to get the little secret thing because I saw something on today's uh, whip discussion about a really good item being one of the crawl spaces here. And I want to try and find it, but it's looking less and less likely right now. I'm not going to pour my heart and soul into it, to be honest. Let's just try and stay alive. Let's just keep chugging along. I I think we're, I think we're kind of screwed here. I think this is pretty much a dead run. Um... There's not going to be much that can bring us back here. There's not going to be much that can bring us back. We should definitely open this up. We got ourselves locks converted to health cost. That's good because we don't spend keys anymore. But health cost is also pretty bad. Good. Take him down. Oh, God. This is just a, a tricky one all around. But these whips, it's good that they're, they're, they're really hard. Because it, it does mean there's quite a big barrier to entry for people, which can be bad. But it's also good that, the, like, 
there's an actual challenge in competing for the score. It's not just a, a foregone conclusion that you're going to easily beat the run. There's quite a few specific things we need in order to uh, in order to get this working. I'll definitely take that, 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 that. I know it's only a few healing notches, but it's worth it. And money's not super valuable right now. Cleave is definitely the way to go here. More cleave we can get, the better. The further away we can stay from every enemy possible, the happier that I'm going to be. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, next floor, away we go. More healing, good. But yeah, all healing being reduced to one is insane. There is a lot of ways around it if we can get specific stuff. But... It's still pretty hard. Regeneration's kind of one of the things that we really, really need to get around it. If we can get regeneration, we're going to get healing pair, uh... We're going to get healing pair room that we do. Which is not... It won't be significant amounts, but it'll still be nice. Uh, is there any relics we want to remove here? Probably not. I don't really think that that's the case. Oh, don't get hit, please. Every time we get hit, 18 damage is an absurd amount of damage to take. When you can't heal. Or at least you can't heal effectively, should I say. We should definitely open this because it's going to contain other stuff. This is a bomb back. Same with this one as well. What? That didn't hit? Are you kidding me? How? Good. Okay. I want to try and see if we can at least get past the second or maybe third boss. Oh, didn't see that spike thingy there. No, I got poisoned. We're going to lose so many keys. I'm just worried about the health that we're losing. It's a lot. <laughs> oh, there's a pit there. I'm actually special. And I lost another key. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I've taken so much damage. Oh, my God. This is not good, people. This is not good. I have lost far too much health. Far, far too much health right now. That's a lot of little worms. I'm honestly just going to ignore them. There you go. It works. Holy hell. We don't really need the gold, but... Nah, I'm not, I'm not even going to bother taking it all, to be honest. Until we get later on, we don't need it at all. Right, let's go. Our health's deceiving right now, because I've got a potion on that increases maximum HP. We don't actually have 426 health. We have closer to 300. I gotta admit, this isn't looking good. Oh, that hit me! No! I'm getting hit by such stupid damage right now. God damn it. Shot, save me. Please. This is so stressful. We got Ambrosia, which is decent enough. I guess we just use Ambrosia. I, I, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on Ambrosia. Thought like we could get more out of it later. Ambrosia lets us double a random blessing. Now, it could just double one that we don't care about, but it could also end up doubling Cleave or Exuberance, so I think that's really good. Poison Mushroom, are you kidding me? That's so bad for us right now. So bad for us right now. Fuck me. We need to remove Poison Mushroom soon. Very soon. 
Poison Mushroom's gonna remove our maximum HP for every single enemy that we kill. It is the worst curse we could possibly get right now. We just gotta keep trucking. It does now, they changed it, it does now um, give you the maximum health back after it's uh, over. Before that wasn't the case, but they changed it, so it isn't as bad as it used to be, but it's still pretty bad for us. Also, all of our shops, all of our shops are locked, which is really annoying. Secret rooms are more secret is a completely fine major curse, I don't really care about it. Nice. Keep her going. Ow. Got hit. Oh. I got caught in the middle of that. Did not mean to do that. Fuck me. This is just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Right. I'm going to risk it with Ambrosia and try and go for the double on Exuberance. We got double on Cleave. Okay. Two Cleaves good with me. Not exactly the best doubling I've seen in my life, but good enough for me. God damn, we seriously need some really, really good ways of healing pretty fucking soon. Otherwise, things are about to get very bad. We might make it to the second boss here. I can't exactly confidently say that we're going to kill the second boss, though. I've got to admit. Lots of curse chests. Good for our score. Disable two relics. Okay, honestly, at disable two relics, I didn't really care about that much. So I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, sequence breaker is good, but I... I it, I'm not very good with it, so it doesn't make much of a difference to the power of my runs. Ah, uh, you tried me, but I, I, I got in front of you. Just get in there. God damn, I wish these weren't locked. Okay, shop time. Shops are basically our saving grace right now. We need the shops to save us. Sadly, we didn't get what we want there. I, I, I could try removing, but honestly, just, just commit at this point. Just commit to the, uh, the evilness that is this run. Try and get as far as we can with the curse we got. The higher our curses are, the more curses we have, the more score we're going to get. So, I feel like we just got to commit. Oh my god, this is just scary. I, I kind of like it. It's like such high risk for this run. Good, good. More poison. Some food, but it's, it's not really worth damage for, for that little healing. Okay, good. We got our fire bed all the way leveled up. What does that give us? Duration of Ignite effects increase for enemies. Nice. Open shop again. Good. We got to transmute here so we can get something better. That's good. We're going to get one healing a room now, which isn't a lot, but I'll take it. I think, I think we'll get one healing a room now. Yeah, it's only one, but it was honestly worth it. Okay, boss time once more. We actually got a shrine room here as well. Lovely. Exuberance. Good. Probably should be getting regeneration whenever I see it, but I'm all about that attack. Oh my god. Just don't get hit by this guy. I'll be fine. Honestly, this guy should go down very quickly. Good, he's going to regen them and then we're going to insta-kill them. Oh, 
my god. That was close. There you go. We got him. Whew. Okay, now it's worth taking the gold. Actually, is a consequential amount. Oh god. We need a miracle in this next floor to survive, I think. This floor is where the damage really starts to ramp up. We're looking for a uh, golden tooth. Picking up gold heals us. Good. I think that was uh, Chips are trapped more often. We, as long as we remember that's the case, shouldn't matter to us. Okay, all these blobby boys are like on your ass right now. It's very annoying. Most of these guys are very, very easy. Just gotta pay attention is all, and we'll be, we'll be fine. No way to get into those doors. Easy. Good, good, you're dead. Oh, our health just dipped massively, of course. We're at minus 100 health already. Okay, let's take out the core enemies before we start spawning all of these boys. Y'all back up. Good. Good, good. And then we can start taking out some of these spiders. Who, frankly, I think die in one hit. Just extra points. Not a lot of extra points, but it's extra points. We got a sure goal, finally. Don't know re really what we'd be looking for from this guy, but we'll see. Branding bombs are very strong here. Um, we don't have anything that stops us from planting bombs, so... Gives us plus 10 bombs as well. Good, good. Branding bombs allows us to build up a lot on a lot of curses to give out, give us a really high multiplier. Very strong on, our, on the whip mode. So we'll definitely be going with that. So it should just kill, like, any one of these. Yeah, and you'll see that we'll get brittleness for, uh, for, I think, I don't know if it's for every enemy we kill. I'm, I'm really not sure. Honestly, on floors like this, just, just, if we get, if we get it quick, just skip forward, I think. We don't have item rooms to go to. Definitely don't want to do that. That thing will give us uh, a curse die in one hit until... Okay, good. Got back up, fella. Didn't realize. Gosh darn you. Just remember how this works. Oh, ha, ha, beautiful. Look at that. That was awesome. That was just kind of awesome. Yeah, go with it. Beautiful again. Oh god, this is stressful and I might be the commentary might be a little light here I might not be talking quite as much as I normally do but Hey her God damn we need the uh, potion that allows us to remove a specific curse it would make our life so much better Go. We are getting a lot of healing here. That's nice. We're, we're basically on a time limit of when our health gets too low though, at this moment in time. But score is looking okay. okay good. Oh, I got set on fire somehow? I don't really understand how I got set on fire there. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what just happened. Weird. As this room I'm just going to do normally. I'm not going to mess around with branding bombs at all. This room scares me a lot. Good. 
and boom and boom. Ah, oh, brand new mums is so cool. So much better than it used to be. It used to be really, I wouldn't say really bad, but it used to be kind of useless. Chests, chests are trapped more often, so don't even bother with that. I don't really know how branding bombs is going to work against this guy, but I'll try it. I don't know how it works against bosses, to be honest. We can at least curse the hell out of ourselves during the fight, which I think is a good idea. Don't accidentally run into our own bombs, we'll be okay. Oh, that was close. Okay. okay. So that time it's it's not it's not branding me anymore. I don't really know why. Oh, that was a big hit of damage there. Fuck me, this is horrible. Okay, I'll let you do your thing. Oh my god. That was a scary fight. Holy hell, that was a very scary fight. Oh my god. We're good to go though, we're good to go. We're good to go. Okay, cast bonus is looking good. Score is looking relatively good. I don't really know what the uh, average score is going to end up being on this run, but I, I don't imagine they'll be super high. Oh my god. Good. Just, just keep calm. Definitely a branding bomb sort of room. Good, good. Chest are trapped more often. Why even bother opening it? It's one healing. Yay. Brandy Bond, save me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the timer to tick down. Uh, that could be pretty useful. That could also be pretty useful. I'm just going to take that now. If I can kill the boss on this floor, I'd be super happy. That, that would be like a good achievement for me. Balancing all of our blessings, I don't think that's worth it. We wouldn't really get much out of that. Okay, down we go. Yeah, if we can kill the boss this floor, I'd be super happy. That'd be a really, really good achievement for us. Let's just play it as safe as we can. <laughs> Play it as safe as we can. It gets hit for 202 damage immediately. God damn, that's scary. We need to not use bombs on this floor as much because the uh, crystal rocks are going to end up hurting us a lot. Yeah, like, don't use it in this room here. There's no point. Good. My god, it's going to be a while before we regain this health. Oh, we got Shogul again. Hello. Okay. Okay, maximum health when killing enemies. We've got to take it because now it negates, I think. And I don't, maybe it'll heal us for one as well. I, I don't actually know how this is going to work. I think we've got to the point now. Oh, the thing is, I want to remove a curse, but if it removes our brittleness, that fucks us so hard. Yeah. 
Keep going. See how this mushroom v mushroom thing works. I think it just negates both, to be honest. Do not get hit by this guy again. Or this fella. Anything that hits me now will kill me. And there you go. There it is. <laughs> Did not see that guy over there. But 235k. If we got another boss, we might have done a lot better there. But I'm going to say we'll probably play us about between 50th and 100th, I'd say. Something like that. 11th. Holy sugar. That's really good. Okay. We seemingly did pretty damn well there. Nice. I'm very happy with that. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happier with that than I thought I would be. Either way, a little bit of a short episode here, but a very hard challenge nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.